Let's do an example where we consider a flux integral and how it relates to the divergence theorem. Consider the vector field f that is given by x minus 2y plus z squared i plus x cubed plus y minus 3zj plus minus xy plus 2zk. That's kind of a crazy looking vector field. I'm not even going to try to draw it. But how do we compute the flux of that across the boundary of the the cube or the, the rectangular prism in 3D that has corners 0, 0, 0 and A, B, C. Let's use some outward pointing normals on that. How do we do that? Well, to do it directly would require surface integrals, six surface integrals, one for each face of this rectangular prism. So let's, let's try. Let's start with the top face where the unit normal vector is K. To compute the flux out of that face, I take the dot product of f with that unit normal vector k, and then integrate over that rectangular region where z is equal to a constant, x goes from 0 to a, y goes from 0 to b. Now if we, if we do that, if we take that k component, that is 2z minus xy, z is a constant, it's equal to c, I have to do that integral as x goes from 0 to a, y goes from 0 to b, that integral is not going to be so hard. What I'm going to wind up getting is 2c times xy minus x squared y squared over 4. When I evaluate that, 0 to a, 0 to b, I get 2abc minus a squared b squared over 4. That is how much flux this vector field f uh, passes across the top face of this cubical region. Now we have more to go. We have to do the left face. Let's say the normal vector is minus i. Then I have to take the dot product of f with that unit vector with minus i. That is giving me what? That's minus x plus 2y minus z squared. But then I set x equal to 0. And I integrate this as y goes from 0 to b and z goes from 0 to c. That gives me y squared z minus yz cubed over 3. When I evaluate that, y is from 0 to b, z is from 0 to c. I get b squared c minus bc cubed over 3. Now that is, this is all doable, but I'm only one third of the way done. I've got to do a lot more. I'm probably going to make some algebra mistake along the way if I haven't already. Let's try something else instead. Let's try using the divergence. Using Gauss's theorem is going to make this so much nicer. What is the divergence of f? That's easy. That's the partial with respect to x of the x component, x minus 2y plus z squared, plus the partial with respect to y of the y component, x cubed plus y minus 3z, plus partial with respect to z of 2z minus xy. Now, all of these partials are, are simple. I get a 1, I get a 1, I get a 2, I add them up, I get 4. Ha <laughs> ha, that's ridiculously simple. To compute the net flux of f across the boundary of this region, I simply integrate the divergence of f across the interior. I'm integrating 4 with respect to volume. That gives me 4 times the volume. That's 4 times a times b times c. Moral of the story, Gauss's theorem is often so simple to use.